James. Hi, I'm Andy. And we're home. Hi, we're home. <laughs> Chip, um, hot chip for me as well. Hot chip, they're amazing. Like they're, some of their songs are some of my favorite songs. Yeah, when that video came out, um, I played same. Yeah, who was that? Um, Joe Goddard has done a remix for us as well, so that was really cool. Yeah. And what's the lead singer called again? Um, Alexis. Alex, Alexis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've met him. We've done an interview with him. This kind of thing actually, where we like talk, interview each other about our band and stuff. He's a nice guy. Yeah, he He's very small. He's yeah. quite small, yeah. Not yeah. like crazy small. No. But small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was not a very nice one. That's not fair, is it? I feel like I'm going to be biased because we met Nea a few times. Yeah. And she's really, really humble and absolutely lovely. So I'm going to go with Nea. And her voice. Oh, it's incredible. For me, it's just incredible, and her music sounds so unique to her. She's a producer as well, so she's like a real artist in the truest sense. Like an amazing voice paired with a vision for her own music. Yeah. Um, which I think is actually the same with Sampha, which is why this is not a fair question. Well, we played at Coachella a couple of months ago, and she came out to sing with Bonnevere for a song. And it, yeah, it was really, yeah. really great. And yeah, I was super jealous, but like also just very happy for her. And well, we love Sampha. <laughs> That's really tough actually. I think James Blake has probably had more influence on us. Um, just that like Prophet, Dave Smith Prophet, keyboard sound. Um, something that we fell in love with and wanted to use in our music. But Jamie XX we really love right now. We've seen him live recently. I mean, we've seen James Blake live recently as well. Oh God! <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do? Um, um, I think James. I think James Blake. I'm gonna go with James Blake partly because he's also writing on loads of other people's stuff that I really admire. Yeah, if you see him, the sub just like I don't know makes your organs feel like they're about to yeah. explode or something. Then just a, a Glastonbury Andy saw just when you were going as a punter. You saw a guy a really drunk guy going to the tent and James Blake started his set with like this big oh, sub yeah. sound and they just went like <laughs> fell over on the floor. <laughs> just okay. Jesse Way. Definitely Jesse Way. Um, no offence to Jesse J. Yeah, Jesse Way is more in line with like uh, oh. 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 going through puberty. <laughs> um, Congratulations, <laughs> <Freddie Mayden. laughs> Finally. Um, yeah, we love like playing some of our music and DJ sets. Um, I hope she does. I don't know when she's releasing more music. She's no. having too many babies, or I don't know how many babies has she had. I think she's had a couple, has she? So, <laughs> she's she's really fair enough. She's entitled to. Um, <laughs> Come on, let's have some new music. Yeah. Um, um, the big hitters. I've heard that Ed Sheeran is the nicest person in the world. Yeah. I've heard so many stories about his generosity. And I'm sure Sam Smith is as well. Yeah, I'm sure. but, um, but apparently Ed Sheeran's still just like will sleep on his sofa and just doesn't care. Just like crash it and makes us. I like that, like down to earth. Yeah. Kind of In terms of music, I would put Sam Smith on over Ed Sheeran. Me too. I think Sam Smith started out in like a bit of a cooler lane with the disclosure thing. <laughs> it's like comparing like an apple and a banana. Like they're both great, <laughs> just for different things. What would you have, an apple or a banana? Well, obviously a banana. <laughs> <laughs> what stupid question. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we didn't come with an answer, really. Yeah. Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Okay. Sorry, Eddie. 